Captain and Pangella too. And our host, Vincent Van Dahl. And he brings it to ya! Creature features! And all creatures! And all creatures! And the creature oh, gonna oh. get you tonight! You better not turn out your bedroom light! You grab your head and give us such a bite! Good evening and welcome to Creature Features. I'm your humble host, Vincent. The tall bloke over to this side, who would rather be elsewhere, is my weary yet industrious butler, Mr. Livingston. And the gentle little ragamuffin to my left would be the lovely, dangerous, and delightful Miss Tangella. And do we have a most stupendous program in store just for you? First, let's talk about tonight's film. For this evening, we shall present the epic picture, Dinosaur Arse. That's not the name of the film. Ah, oh, I see I've neglected to include the exclamation mark. One more time. This evening we shall present the epic picture, Dinosaur Arse. The film is Dinosaurus. Saurus. I beg to differ, my good man. See? Dinosaur Arse. Once again, you've been deceived by your mischievous charge. I do wish you'd cease with the puerile shams, you, you manky prat. Tonight we shall present Dinosaurus from 1960. This is a fabulous film about a seaside science experiment that goes awry and unleashes dinosaurs who have been awakened from their suspended animation slumber to wreak havoc upon a Caribbean isle and its unsuspecting villagers. Luckily, a similarly awakened and friendly Neanderthal is available to help said villagers with his skill and knowledge in contending with angry animals from the Triassic period. It should be a fabulous film and was doubtlessly a significant inspiration for Steven Spielberg's lesser-known dinosaur movie. Guest-wise, it shall be a culinary evening of delight as well, for we'll be joined by one of the foremost fromages in the county. Jerry Meaven from California Unique Cheese Boutique will be here to tell us about some of the tasty offerings made by their Napa-based creamery. He'll tell us a bit about the cheesemaking process and perhaps even share with us some of their delicious samples from their wide variety of unique fromage. Imagine that, Livingston. Fine cheese and a dinosaur movie. I can't imagine a more perfect pairing. Mm. So don't go away, for it is to be another night of cheesy dinosaur fright right here on Kiricha Vichas. <laughs> Stay tuned. Welcome to Creature Ventures. It's going to be a fantastic night. You know why? Because we've got Jerry Meaven with us from California Unique Cheese Boutique. Yes, Is that sir. Correct? Yes, sir. And you, you make cheese. Well, I, I, I help make cheese. You help it? Well, of course. It's a, it's a, it's a large process that involves many people, right? Well, of course it does, and I generally like to eat the cheese. But you sell cheese as well. Of course. Yes. Right. Right. So. Jerry's going to join us tonight. Uh, we're going to watch Dinosaurus from 1960. Have you seen this film? Long time ago. And did you like it? Long time ago. Long time ago you liked the film? Or Don't long time remember. Ago? Oh, all right. All right. No. I, I'm the same way. I watch a film, and like two days later, I completely forget the film. I can watch the same movie all week long. Oh. And it's new to me because it's like a, it's like a brain thing. Anyways, uh, Jerry Meaven, that's a unique name. Yes, it is. Why is it... Is it like Scandinavian? Well, it used to be Jerry Meaven Believus, 
before like with a hyphen. Hyphen, yes, right, right. The hyphen, right. Uh, I lost that after the divorce. That oh, so it's like you adopted your wife's name as a hyphen. I loved her. Now, well, you know that's uh, that's quite common in in some places too. I'm glad you said that. Right, right. No, no. Well, I'm sure some people have mentioned it in a negative sense, right? I don't listen. No, right, right. All right, let's uh, let's uh, let's get to the movie, and when we come back. We're going to talk about. We're going to talk about some cheese. Cheese. All right. So uh, stick around. It's going to be a good movie. Great guest, and we will see you after the break. Six to go. Come on. It's a good sound. See, si, very good. Soon big boats will land in our harbor. Then much happiness. Un buen año. Si. Man can't even have a decent siesta around here anymore. Hacker, wait. Please, Hacker. No more trouble. Let go, chick. I warned him. Teach that bar town for news boss around here. Is that it? Nah, the two at the end haven't gone yet. They must have gotten wet. Give them a couple minutes more, we'll plant them again. Right. Everybody stay away from the water. We may have a couple of live ones down there. Oh, get another charge ready. How are you coming on the road, Dumpy? Pretty slow, boss. The native workers haven't shown up yet. Oh, no. What do you suppose the reason is today? Mike Hacker? Of course, Mike Hacker. I wonder what a sick excuse is going to be. What the world are you doing? 
Me? Nothing, Bones. No, no, not again, Dumpy. Haven't I got enough on my hands today? Come on, Julio, let's go. I didn't do no harm, Senor Bart. Honest, you didn't, boss. Yeah, well, if I had enough time, I'd give you both a spanking. You know, your father asked us to keep you away from here. And you know that too, Dumpy. Yeah, I know. Hacker's not my father, Senor Bart. All right, but he is your guardian, right? And he's the island manager, which means we have to get along with him. I just want to learn. I know you do, son. Bart! There's a little outboard coming into harbor. That fool's liable to get blown to kingdom come. Keep that flag waving. For Pete's sake, whoever it is, is waving back. It's Betty. Go back, Betty. Go back, Betty. Go back. I'm sorry, Betty. We tried to warn you. Oh, by taking a shot at me. There was no shot. There was a delayed action charge. Oh, well, I guess that makes all the difference. What in the world are you doing now? I'm going down to Davy Jones' locker. For my mother's portable icebox, in which I had stashed all sorts of goodies for you guys to eat, and which I intend to eat whether you're hungry or not. Betty, wait. The water's not safe. <laughs> Love wonderful. What's happening? Well, they just dove in for a swim. That's dangerous. There's still debris churning around down there. Yeah. Ain't love strange? Take it easy, Betty. All right, everybody back to work. Chuck, take another diver and check out that channel bottom. There's something strange down there. The water was ice cold. We might have blown the lid off a subterranean river. Check it out, will you? Roger. Come on, sir. I get out at the end here, Julio. You head on for home. Don't want you to get into any trouble now, do we? No. Julio! 
Mario! Come here! And you, get that foolish machine out of here. All right, all right. Next time, maybe you stay in the cantina and do your chores like I tell you, huh? Now you wait here. Come on now. Come on, you've got to drink this. Oh. It's out there. I saw it. I swear. The green monster with a head the size of this room. What do I have to do to make you believe me? Excuse me for intruding on this tender little scene. Well, now we got a monster in here, too. You better start learning how to knock real quick, hacker. All the doors on this island are open to me, boss man. I come here to complain about the noise you're making. The citizenry doesn't like it. And now I find your carelessness has almost cost us the lovely Miss Piper. It was my fault, Mr. Harris. Nonsense. You were supposed to put up warning signs before you started blasting. They were up. And this might not have happened if we'd had the extra men you promised me this men. morning. Men? What men? The Islanders, Hacker. Remember? No, I don't remember. OK. For two weeks, I've given you the benefit of the doubt while I've fallen behind schedule. From now on, we bypass you. That wouldn't be too wise. The governor of the island gave us his cooperation, and as his representative, you're supposed to do the same. Yours is cooperation, all right, but at a price, isn't it? I look out for my people. You bet you do. Bart! Bart, what's wrong? If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I wouldn't believe it. What? The monster. Two of them, then. Two what? What are you babbling about? Two huge, ugly dinosaurs. Perfectly preserved at the bottom of the channel. Are they dead? Frozen solid. Million-year-old dinosaurs? The same, Bart. I don't know what else they could be, but I'll tell you one thing. One look at him, and you'll never forget him. You see? This ought to be worth a fortune. We must have blasted through the rock that entombed him. Some compressed gas caused the freezing, I guess. As island manager, I demand you bring those things up. Oh, tread lightly, Hacker. You don't demand anything around here today. Is the governor still in Washington? So far as I know, he is. And that leaves me in complete charge of this island. Well, we'll send him a wire and have him contact the Smithsonian. He'll send paleontologists down here right away. We'll bring the critters up and put them on the beach. I think the big crane will handle them? I think so. All right, get her set up and I'll be with you in a minute. Roger. Well, can I trust you to send this? You have my word. And a witness. All right, here. What are you grinning about? Oh, was I grinning, boss man? Maybe it's just at this time, after all your whining, you caused your own delay. Well, we can't build a harbor around two dinosaurs, Hacker. So we take a couple hours and we move them and we get right back to work with no more delays. Bravo. You're awfully hard on him, weren't you, Bart? I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw a dinosaur. Let's go monster fishing. Hello YouTube viewers, have you subscribed yet? I see a few of you have forgotten to do so. I am somewhat disappointed. Please subscribe. Thank you. Welcome back to the show. If you're just joining us, you're late. What do you think of late people? I don't have a whole lot of use for them. Right. See, I'm the same way. But no, no, no. If you if you're late for our show, you're always welcome because uh, you know the movies we show tend to begin very like they have long beginnings before they get to any actual meat. So, anyways, we are watching Dinosaurus with Jerry Meevan, and Jerry Meevan is a, uh, a a cheese monger, right? I w I wouldn't quite put it that way, but a, yes, a fromager. That's the French version. Oh. A, fro a fro a fromager. Oh, that's yeah. No, it's a good. It's a fantastic yeah. cheese. Right. No. 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 Right. So, uh, anyway, Dinosaurus. This film. Did you know that they had considered Steve McQueen for the role, oh. the lead role of this film, but they chose not to use him because he was so much trouble in the Blob. 
Was he high maintenance, as they I, say? I assume he, he probably, probably wanted special cheeses delivered to his trailer. Well, he got a, a car, didn't he, in that one movie where he was driving all over the place. And that's a uh, that's, uh, bullet, ah, right? Yes. Bullet. Now, we don't show films like that. I wish we did because... Uh, that's a fun film. No, it is a fun film, but, you know, we're close to San Francisco and we could do, like, a thing where we, like, film the episode near where the streets... I think that would be fantastic. We could have called the episode The Streets of San Francisco. I think that'd be fine. I right. think that was already taken, though. Wow. All right. So, uh, anyways, we're not here to talk about the movie at the moment. We're here to talk about cheese. So, how'd you get into this whole business? I've, I've liked cheese since I was a, a little kid. Right. I first started with uh, the, the, the processed cheese. It was called government cheese because that's where you got it from. Right. And one grilled cheese turned into another, and I was in cheese heaven for the longest time. So, now you do more... Better cheeses. I do fancier cheeses. Fancier now. cheeses. Like right. Gorgonzolas and right, your right. blue. There's a cheese called Blue Vinny. Like Blue Vinny, like me. Well, I wouldn't quite call you blue. No, I'm well, not blue, but like Vinny, like my name, Vinny. Vincent. Oh. I've never heard mm. anybody call you Vinny before. No, a Blue Blue Vinny would be a, a good cheese for me, right? It absolutely would. Right. If right. you were in New York. So, what kind of cheese would you not recommend? Monster. Munster. That was a little joke because uh, <laughs> we're in a monster a movie. A monster, monster <laughs> show. It is a monster <laughs> movie. No, no, but there must be some cheeses that you're like being a professional cheese person. A lot of people don't care for smoked gouda. Smoked gouda. Smoked gouda. It's a little right. too strong for them. Right, right. I personally do like it. Right, right, all right, right. What would you put smoked gouda on? Crackers. Crackers, right. A particular type? Yes, salt water table crackers. Salt water table crackers. Oh, they're that fantastic. That sounds rather plain. Well, it's salt water. No. Well, no, salt, there's nothing wrong with salt water. It's just like the plain table cracker. I mean, wouldn't you rather put it on something like a Trisket? You don't want to take away from the cheese, do you? No, yeah, well, a Trisket is like, it's, it's the perfect, perfect serving platter for a piece of cheese. Oh, too much salt. Too much salt, all right. Too crunchy. Says the man who's, who's pushing well, salt water cracker. The crackers aren't salty. They just right. call it salt water crackers. All right, all right. All I right. don't know why. All right, well, we got to get back to this film. When we come back, uh, you, I understand you have some cheese samples. I brought some today, yes. Right, right for us to take a yes. look at and sample. And we'll probably bring Andrew out as our taste tester. Mm. Because he's, he's a big cheese fan. Oh. In fact, now I understand he's been to your store quite a few times. So. Is he the one from Green Bay? No, I don't think so. Oh. No, Green Bay. I don't know. Big guy with a funny hat. He's a big guy with a funny hat. Oh, yeah. I think he has been there, yes. Right, right. Yes. All right, all right. All right, so uh, off we go back to dinosaurs. Don't go away. Lots of fun ahead. Okay, Lou, we're all hooked up. Bring her in nice and easy. <laughs> Dinosaurs, you know, the Getty? Yes, Julio. They are. Boy, this is terrific. Paper coming, Lou. Goodness, he's not alive. Say that again. Yeah, let's get a hook on the next one. Roger. Is 
Is that what you saw? You scared me. With him around, thanks a lot. I just can't get over it. Is he alive, Senor Bart? No, he's not alive. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, I'm sure. Then why are his eyes open? Well, he just... He just slept with them open, that's all. Boy, he's magnificent. That's for certain. Yeah, well, when do you see the next one? You tell me he's even bigger. He must weigh about 50 tons. He doesn't look as mean as the other one. He's not mean. He's herbivorous. Where did you learn a word like that? Oh, I'm well educated in those things. I sent away a series of box tops and got models just like them, only smaller. Can I go up and see them closer? Okay, Professor. Oh, thanks, Senor Bart. <laughs> Barty's very cold. Yeah, he's what you might call kind of quick frozen. How long has he been that way? A million years or so, I guess. Boy, oh boy, I'd better investigate further. Hey, look. Why don't you go in and change while I get things wrapped up here and whisk away to a romantic little spot for you? <laughs> the only restaurant on the island. Well, yeah, but you got to admit it's the best cuisine in a thousand mile radius. Okay, I'll be ready in a few minutes. Okay. Hey, Bart, you think we ought to leave a guard for our little playmates tonight? Yeah, I guess so. I don't see how anyone's gonna walk off with him, though. Give him half a chance and hack or try. I'll see you later. See you, Bart! See you, Bart! What's the matter? He's alive! Look! Oh, no. Oh, no. He's just thawing out. Then will he be alive? Nope. Hey, don't you think you better head on home? No, Senor Hacker told me to wait in the car. I guess I'd better. Okay. O'Leary? Off and on me, bucko. T.J. O'Leary at your service, boss. O'Leary, I got a job for you tonight. Babysitting. With those children? Those dinosaurs over there. Oh, say it's preservers. Then they're really there. Ah, oh, thank the good Lord. <laughs> I've been seeing them all afternoon and was afraid to tell anyone for fear it was the DTs. <laughs> Sure, and if they be needing some diaper, you can find some tarplins behind the shed. Oh, sure, boss. Sure. And they ain't the first dollar sure I've ever seen, you know. Oh, your timing's perfect. You wrinkle free and ready to go? Yeah, no, we hurry. We'll make it there before the rain does. Well, it sure gets dark fast down here. Everything happens fast in the tropics.
Jasper. Yeah. Come in. It's about time you got here. It was stormy and wet out tonight, Mr. Hacker. Fine, fine. I don't need your weather report. Sit down and shut up. I'll do the talking. We're going to be rich, boys. You hear that, Chica? I heard, Hacker. You don't sound too happy about it. Should I be? Why, sure. You're my little tamale, aren't you? Leave me alone, Hacker. Leave me alone, Hacker. I don't hear you telling the touristas, leave me alone. Let me go, you are hurting me. I'm going to be rich, Chica. Dress you in pretty things, soft to the touch. I don't want your money. But I want you. And I know certain things about you that certain authorities would like to find out. Lies. We'll lock you up in a jail until your pretty face is old and wrinkled. All you know is lies. Maybe so. But who will be believed, huh? You or the island manager? So you see, Chica, you are mine. Why not enjoy it? And now leave us alone, my little tamale. We have some business to discuss. I have found a caveman. Perfectly intact, probably a million years old. We are going to take him to the mainland and sell him for a fortune. You mean he's dead? <laughs> <laughs> of course he's dead. He's prehistoric. That's what makes him so valuable. What's my cut? Uh, yeah, and mine. A thousand dollars apiece for helping me get him to the boat as soon as the storm lets up. It's a deal. Yeah, right. It's a deal. Ah. Telegram. Yeah, help yourself to some food, boys. strapping babes. A teething, are you? Well, <laughs> you're a very sweet and quiet babe not to be shrieking about it. Uh, and you, too, mustn't play favorite. Well, I'm going in where it's warm, boys. Now, you be good now and sleep tight. This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Not now. Stay tuned. Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Welcome back to the show. Uh, Mr. Meaven had to step away for a moment. You did not kick him out of the chair, did you? No, he maybe had to use the loop. I think so. You know, oh, well, we, we serve drinks and things, so, you know. He had people, some, a little bit of coffee. Coffee, right. Now, that, can, that could cause one to need to go to the loo. Does that to me. In any case, uh, welcome back. Uh, we're going to do some mail while our guest is gone. So, let's do some mail, right? Right. What do you got for me, Mr. Livingston? Nancy Rovito from Portland, Maine. There's a Portland in Maine. That's like the main city, is it not? The capital? I believe it's the capital. Right, right. Very nice. All right, let's read this. Oh, this is a nice card. Look at this. 
Ooh, nice, neat, tiny writing. I shall do my best, Nancy. Uh, Nancy Rovito. Dear Vincent Tangella and Livingston, my name is Nancy Rovito and I live in a beautiful coastal city in Portland, Maine. I was a classic rock musician and then a special ed teacher. At this moment, I am disabled working on walking again. Oh, that's not good. Less pain now and working on stamina. It's been hard for me to be down when once a spontaneous, active and fun woman. Recently, I found your wonderful show. It has helped me pass multiple hours in complete happiness and distraction. I was on YouTube looking for classic black and white horror movies, my favorite, and found your show. It is the best show on TV. It is, is it not? Indeed. He's, he's lying. No, he lies sometimes. It's, it's not, it's they're, they're the white internet. lies, but they're lies. No, if Nancy says it's 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 the greatest show on TV, it's the greatest show on TV. Do not argue with a former. I shall not argue with Right, her. right. Uh, and if she's about to say something nice about you. So, Livingston is an intelligent man who could really work a beard. He is my son's favorite. Tangela is a wonderful little imp who appears to be a lot of fun. Oh, yes, lots of fun. Ooh. Like the time that she blew up the loo down at the train station. That was lots of fun. Vincent, you are an extremely handsome man. Okay, now I, I think you need glasses as well, Nancy. Indeed. Who hosts a wonderful show. Don't you dare agree with our writers? Your guests are very interesting, and I have loved about 95% of your movies. I wonder what 5% she does not like. I can guess. All right. Thank you so much for helping me pass the time in between physical therapy appointments. Your home fascinates me. Mr. Livingston does a wonderful job keeping your wonderful home sparkling clean. Take care, all of you. Love, Nancy. Well, you know, he doesn't actually do cleaning. He supervises the people who do the cleaning, right? Although I have seen him with a white glove wiping things now and then. So, yes. Thanks for writing, Nancy. Next up, Mr. Livingston. Michael Bork from Auckland, New Zealand. Auckland, New Zealand, he's a Kiwi. Michael Bork, okay. Greetings to all of the Creature Features team, Vincent, Tangella, Mr. Livingston, Andrew, and all the hard workers behind the scenes. Absolutely love the show. Just wish YouTube had recommended it to me sooner. It's just my cup of tea. Started watching on Boxing Day 2022. I thought they just did that in Canada, Boxing Day. It uh, used to be a colony. Oh. Right. Of the Brits. All right. And watch two episodes a day since. Two episodes a day? We're taking up four hours of this poor man's life. Well, if you enjoy it, then we enjoy you enjoying it. Uh, we never had horror host shows in New Zealand, but we did have the Sunday Horrors, a regular time slot featuring the kind of movies you have on your show. It was always a sign of pride as a kid when you could say you watched it. I used to get my mum talking so she would forget to send me to bed so I could stay up and watch. Got to see some great horror movies and have some interesting talks with my mum. Your show reminds me of those days. If I could recommend a movie for you, it would be Invitation to Hell, a TV movie starring Robert Ulrich, and that I remember scaring me silly as a kid. Keep up the good work. You've all done very well. Michael Bork, Auckland, New Zealand. Well, I've got good news for you, Michael. We're going to be running that one soon. We found it. No, it's do. one of the few times we get a recommendation that we can actually run the movie. No, TV movies, we can usually always get. But when people say something like, oh, get Creature from the Black Lagoon, I have to deliver sad news in response. Anyways, I uh, hope things are well in Auckland, Michael, and say hello to all the fam and friends. Next up, sir. Connie Fight, I would... How are you, Miss Tangella? You're being awfully mm. quiet tonight. Oh. Yeah. That thing has stopped stinking. Have well. you noticed? Finally. Now, there used to be a reek <clears throat> when she would approach with this particular skull, and I suppose it's, it's finished its process, right? I hope Decom so. It's not going to decompose anymore. So now it's just like a piece of leather with a skull inside. That Petrifying. All right, Connie Fight. I'm a new subscriber to your channel. I'm in love with your show. If I may, I would love to request Creature from the Black Lagoon. See, I told you. One of my all-time favorites, keeping up the good work. I grew up watching Shock Theater on Saturday afternoon. Your show is much better than Shvenguli. And she spelt it like that, Shvenguli. All right, a couple of things. 
Creature from the Black Lagoon, you know, that movie has been so difficult for us. We've been trying for seven years, and they keep telling us no. And we say, well, what if we put more money in the mailbox going to you? And they say no. So, Creature from the Black Lagoon, we cannot run. Maybe one day when we're as rich as Shvenguli, we'll be able to do it. But if you watch Shvenguli, you've probably seen that movie on his show, right? I mean, you want to watch the same thing again when we've got Invitation to Hell coming soon. Right? Right. Makes sense. All right. Thanks for writing, Connie. That's it? That would be it. That is it for letters. If you'd like to send us a letter of your own via email, send it to the address you see over here. Or if you'd love to send a nice tiny letter on a card, like our friend Nancy, send it to the address you see right here. We'll be right back uh, after the next break. But first, let's get back to Dinosaurus. There. Oh, these are my monsters I got from my cereal box tops. I thought I'd bring them over to show you. See, those are really something. Hey, Chuck. Look. This one's the Brontosaurus. He's a vegetarian. He wouldn't hurt you unless you got in his way and he stepped on you. But this one's the mean one, the Tyrannosaurus. He's got a bigger brain and a bigger appetite. He eats meat, and he likes to eat Brontosaurus even better than people. I'll be darned. You really know a lot about these things, don't you? Oh, yes, Senor Bart. I play with them all the time. They are my friends. Julio! What the devil are you doing out here? You're going to learn when I tell you to stay in the back room and finish your chores quietly. That is exactly what I mean. Take it easy, Hacker. You keep your nose out of this. I'm sorry, Senor Hacker. I won't do it again. You're going to learn a lesson, boy. Hacker, that's enough. Now, come here, boy. I hate you. I'm going to run away and never come back. All right, go ahead. See if I care. Pull your weight. If anything happens to that boy, Hacker, I swear I'll take it out of your hide. Step closer, boss man, or I'll... You what? 
I'll slash you to ribbons. Somebody bandage him up. the drink as long as I live. Good girl. I wonder how long it'll be before the lights come on again. <laughs> the last time something happened to our generator, it was two days before they fixed it. You mean they didn't have any power on this whole island for two days? <laughs> yes, except for some of the houses on the hills. They had their own generator. The storm's about over. Run up some of the boys, we'll go have a look. Right. For sure. It sounded like dynamite. Come on. Chuck! Roger! Let's go! Hey, hurry up! They'll be too close to our prize package. Despite my previous protestation, I see a few of you have still not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet. Please, I implore of you to do so. Thank you. Welcome back to Creature Features. We are watching Dinosaurus with our friend Jerry Meven from the California Unique Cheese Boutique. Try to say that fast three right, times. Right, which is in Napa, California. Napa, 
That's an area best known for wine, right? Well, cheese and wine generally go together. Right, right. Uh, with yeah. chocolate, too. Chocolate? Yeah. They, they make have... chocolate in Napa? No, we don't make chocolate. No, but they make it in Napa. No? I imagine they do. That would be nice. I like chocolate. Andrew likes chocolate. Yes. But he's here because he likes cheese. We're going to sample some. But quickly on this movie, did you know on this film that they had such a wonderful budget that they actually filmed this in the U.S. Virgin Islands? Yes. The U.S. Virgin Islands. That's a beautiful place. Right. No, no, no. Typically, when you have a movie like this, they'll, like, go down to Malibu. Yes. Right, yeah. Oh, we're in the Virgin Islands, but they film it in Malibu. And you can tell that it's not right. It doesn't look like it. But this Didn't one... they film Jurassic Park there in uh, the, the Virgin Islands? In the Virgin I don't know. Or was it Hawaii? Yeah, but we're not watching Jurassic Park. We're watching dinosaurs. Oh, they don't have cheese, and they don't have cheese there anyway. Right, right. All right. Anyways, uh, you brought some samples of some of your things. I did. I did. Tell, tell us what you have. Well, we got a nice assortment here. Uh, this is called Blue Vinny. Blue Vinny. You have two pieces of that? I do. I'm going to hand right, one to your, right. your large give friend one, here. Give one, give one to, there you go, to sir. Andrew, and I'm going to take a small sample. This is Blue Vinny. That's very, very, very strong. Oh, it's not bad. Oh, it's very good, especially on a saltwater no, cracker. No, it's nice. Nice. No, that's, I think, I think to truly taste cheese, you have to eat it straight, right? Goes well, great with a like sourdough, it. too. With sourdough bread. Oh, yes. Oh, that's nice. nice. Fantastic. All right, that's good. What else do you have? Well, let's see what else. This is our specialty. Everybody's got their take on cheddar. And this right. is this is the boutique cheddar. Boutique cheddar. Boutique cheddar. Right, right. We call what, that BC for short. <laughs> what makes it different? We make it. Oh, all right. And uh, well, would you put this on a cracker as well? Absolutely. Or any mm. kind of bread is fine, too. It tastes like cheddar cheese. It makes a great grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, right. Now, of course, you need more than this. And some tomato soup. Tomato soup? Just goes with grilled cheese sandwiches. You don't actually put that on the bread, do you? No, it's on the side. No. All right. Why? How do you like eat a... yours? Oh, well, you know, you said, I, I don't know. I, I, I've, not, I've, I've, I've not been in this country long enough to know all the culinary delights oh. that uh, you people build here. Would you like to try another one? Yes, please. Okay. Here we got Sonoma Surprise. Sonoma Surprise. Uh, okay. Oddball well, thing there, very huh? Very nice. Yes. There you go. Very nice. That's one of our more popular brands. It kind of tastes like feet. Well, it should. They stomp it with their bare feet and barrels. Like wine. Kinda. Bare feet, do they wash their feet first? Not that I'm aware of. We don't make them do that. We can't. Hmm. Wait. You like it? I guess he liked it. He seems all right with it. All right, cheese so far. We're going to try some more cheese in a minute, but we're going to get back to this film, mm. Dinosaurus. It's getting better, right? Oh, absolutely. Right, right. All right, off we go, Dinosaurus 1960. Don't go away and go get some cheese at the break. Dinosaurs, no shack. Worst of all, no O'Leary. Hey, Box! O'Leary's hat. Think he's dead? Nobody could live through that kind of an explosion, Dumpy. Holy, poor guy. Well, what happened to the dinosaurs? Bart! Come here! He looked like the big one just up and walked away. Walked away? How could he walk away if he's dead? It isn't possible. What are we going to do? Uh oh. Look. What are you doing, Hacker? I was looking to see to see if Julio was around here. Under the leaves? 
Come on, you can do better than that. A fat lot, you care what happens to that boy. Will you get your hands off me? I better change up a lot. I was wrong this time. You had nothing to do with this. You don't know what that sound was, do you? A bird. That's a dinosaur, Hacker. A big, hungry, flesh-eating dinosaur. You mean? We gotta get back to town and start making phone calls for help. The phones are out, Bart. The overseas phone. Everything's out. How do we get word out, Hacker? Mailboat will be in tomorrow morning. By tomorrow, we could all be dead. Doesn't anyone here have a shortwave radio? Some of the fishing boats have some, but they won't be back till the end of the week. When can we get an answer to that wire? I, uh, I didn't get around to sending it. Well, that's just great. Bart, I wish my dad was in a way. He's got some sort of radio rig. A shortwave radio? Yes, he's a ham operator, but he's always taking it apart. I don't know if it's working. Well, at least it's something to go on. I think I could get it to work. In the meantime, we gotta figure out some way of defending ourselves. Hacker, how many weapons are there in the island? Some small game guns, a couple of pistols, but what good would they be against those monsters? And there's a relic cannon up at the old fortress. That might not be a bad idea, Bart. A relic cannon? No, no, the fortress. I was up there last Sunday. It's just some old ruins, but the walls are thick and fairly high. And there's what's left of a moat around the place. We could widen it and burn some oil as a barrier. Sounds like our best idea. <laughs> Chuck, take the bulldozers and whatever else you need to get set up at the fortress. Right. And tell everybody on the way up there. Hey, boss, maybe if I rang the fire gun, we could get them all out in a hurry, huh? No. No, all we need is a couple hundred fighting people running through town. That monster will know where his next meal's coming from. How about us with the heavy equipment? I don't think he'll bother you if you travel on a tight convoy. Driving the lights out. Roger. Let's go, guys. Come on. Got work to do. You girls go on with Chuck. Dump him out, spread the word in town, and we'll get to your house and see if that radio's working. Bart, my mother's home all alone. Don't worry, we'll bring it back. How about you, Hacker? Are we gonna get any help from you? I've got to go find my boy. I, I feel terrible. He means so much to me. I will risk the danger. I'll take my men and we go search the island. I understand. We'll keep a lookout, too. You see, Bart? Nobody's all bad. Senor Bart, when I was a little girl in another country, there was a revolution. My father taught me how to make bombs out of bottles and gasoline. We use some, no? Well, we'll use some, yes. Run and tell Chuck that. Okay. Hey, boss, there's a couple of walkie-talkies up in the tool shed. Should I get them? We'll keep in touch with Chuck. That's a good idea, Dumpy. Okay. Bart, I'm going with you. No, you're not. It's a lot safer for you at the fortress. We may never get there. If something happens, I want to be with you.
Uh, how was the boy dressed, Mr. Hacker? I uh, didn't notice. Don't be so style conscious, Jasper. We're looking for the caveman, not that brat. <laughs> I, I, I knew you hadn't changed. vegetarian like it says on the cereal box. Hey, you are friendly. We are going to be friends, you and me. That's the bad Tyrannosaurus. You'd better run and find his one to hide in, or he won't follow you. Because if he catches us, he'll eat both of us up. And he'll like you better than me, because you're bigger. And I don't want him to eat you, so please run. I know you don't know which way to run, and I wish I could tell you, but you see, I'm just a boy and I'm lost, because I don't go out at night by myself and I don't know where the swamps are. You see? You've got to go! Please run! I can't push you! Tell everyone to go quickly and quietly. Once they get to the fortress, they should just relax. No, you have to light that clock tail, Gumpy. But a spark could do it. Put them in here. Yeah, boss. Put them on something soft so they don't get jostled. And no smoking. <laughs> you ain't kidding. XLN2W, calling LNR6J. XLN2W, calling LNR6J. Do you read me? Over. XLN2W, calling LNR6J. XLN2W, calling LNR6J. Come in, please.
my name is Ruth from California. I'm the queen of creatures. I love your show. Rock on. Hello, this is Livingston. Apparently, one of my newly acquired domestic duties is to request help for our show financially by asking you to visit our patron page. Your generosity will help keep Creature Features on the air, which I'm not entirely sure is a good thing. However, with only a few dollars a month from you, your kindness will allow us to continue creating new programming each week, which apparently some of you curiously enjoy. And should you have the desire to give even more, you might even receive a gift from Ms. Tangella. I think not. Please visit the website below to learn more. Thank you. Welcome back to Creature Features. We are watching Dinosaurus 1960 with our friend Jerry Meven from the California Unique Cheese Boutique. Now, you should come up with a shorter name. Well, it's on the business card. It's abbreviated there. Yeah. All right. And uh, we've got Hendry with us. We're sampling cheese because he, he's part of a cheese making company. A creamery. It's called a creamery, Absolutely. right? A creamery. It's called a creamery. Yes. Uh, do you actually make cream, though? No, we get that imported from cows. Right. They make the cream. They sure do. They make the cream. And then uh, you make cheese. I do. Well, let's try some more cheese. Are you ready? Ready. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Well, let's try. I think you're going to like this. This is just your, your classic Fontina. And it's a nice cheese to just pretty much goes with anything, even right. grapes. Grapes? I hear you got a lot of those here. We do, but you don't put this on top of a grape, do you? Well, no, you could, I, I, I suppose you could You mm. could cut the grape and, and put it in there. It's, uh, it's tangy. Oh. It has tang yes. to it. Yes. Right? Yes. It goes no. with wine very well. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I'm not much of a wine person. No. It's, uh, I can never find any fresh wine. We have a lot of it over there in Napa. But it's not fresh. It's like, you look at the stale data, it's like... 1995, things like this. I think they say it's better like that. Uh, no, I, I disagree. I like my wine fresh. I just go with the grape mm, juice. Right. All right, what do you got next? Oh, well, this next one is uh, kind, of, kind of a funny name. Stinking Bishop. <laughs> Stinking Bishop. <laughs> Don't ask me why. <laughs> you already be... didn't like the other foot one. <laughs> Stinking Bishop. This is not made from a bishop, though, right? Oh, it very well could be. At least it's no. blessed. No, well, no. Well, that's good that it's blessed, but... Yes. Oh, that's not stinky. No, it's nice. The name fooled you, didn't it? Right, right. No, I, I bet it was just <laughs> like a thing that they did to keep people from buying certain cheeses. That yeah, just keeps mm -hmm. you on your toes. Right, And it's right. a funny name. That's right. Yes. That's right. What else you got? Well, we got some uh, Helena Sharp. You want to try some Helena right. Sharp? Yes, yes, Helena Sharp. Oh. This one. I think you're really going to like this right. here. There you go, big fella. Well, it's not bad. Yeah, that's so all. Is this... Helena, like St. Helena? Oh, no, no, no. Helena Sharp is the, the, the woman who we get the breast milk from. It's made from breast milk. Human breast milk. Well, yes, it's quite, quite popular with the infants. They love it. He seems to love it, too. Oh, it's fantastic. Wow. And this is, this is like a common practice thing. Yes, it's it's a it's a human, new human? it's a new fad. People love it. I, I don't know, mate. I think it's somewhat rather disgusting. A lot of husbands buy it. I don't know what that's about. All right. What do you say we get back to this film? All right, off we go back to Dinosaurus, and we will see you after I wash my mouth out with soap.
faster. These roads don't help any. We are almost there, Chuck. It's filled with water, Mr. Hacker. Uh, that's why they closed this place. They haven't used it in years. Let's get out of here. This place gives me the creeps. Jasper seems to be enjoying it. Huh, Jasper? Uh, sure, boss. It's very uh, interesting. I mean, where else are you going to find a caveman except in a cave? In a cave. In a cave. Uh, Jasper, your intelligence never ceases to amaze me. I didn't know you were an anthropologist. Uh, not a very good one, boss. I mean, I ain't been to church in years. <laughs> oh, well, he's not in the cave. Maybe he's in a house. Come on, we'll start looking in houses. Is there anyone else living out this way we could warn? No, ours is the next place, and it's the last one. Senorita Betty! Betty? Betty?
about these things, do you? I'll be your friend. I'll show you. No! Eat with your fork. Like this. Eat right. Eat like this. With your fork. That must be Betty. Surprise her. Show her how I taught you how to eat with a fork. Surprise! There he is. I get the kid out of the way and get him with as few bruises as possible. Run, Kim! Two are worthless. Stand back. Let a man at him. Oh, you got the rope? Uh, yeah, boss. Uh, right here. All right. I'll pin him down. You bind his hands and feet. Tangella <clears throat> Livingston said a package came for me. Huh, thank you. Mother. Oh, 
There's nobody here, that's for sure. Boy, this place is a mess. Mother! Yeah, and whoever butted this up sure did a thorough job. Well, they sure did. Mother! Better calm her down. You think? I don't know. She's not here, Bart. Something's happened. I know it. Come on, calm down. Keep your chin up. Look, her car's gone. She could be in town. Or she might be at the fortress already with Chuck. Oh, do you think she might be? Well, there's a good chance. And besides, going to pieces isn't going to help a bit. Oh, somebody had a sloppy feast in here, Bart. And the tea kettle's still boiling. Whoever was here didn't leave long ago. Dumpy, go out to the Jeep and see if you can contact Chuck on the walkie-talkie. He should be at the fortress by now. Gotcha, boss. What do we do now? We'll head for the fortress. And see if you got any kerosene lanterns. We could use them. Okay, I'll get them. Hey, boss! Yeah? Yeah, Chuck, sure. Just a minute. Here he comes now. I bet his mother is safe. Oh, good. Tell Bay and give her a hand a sneezer, will you, dummy? I sure will. Yeah, Chuck? Yeah, Bart. So far, so good. Not a sign of the monsters. And we're making pretty good progress with the moat. If we could be sure of a couple of more hours, I'd say we'd have it secured. Well, how about the Islanders? We got most of them in from the village. They're more coming from the hills all the time. They're frightened. And I can't say that I blame them. When I stop to think of it, I get pretty scared myself. I know what you mean. How about Julio? Not a sign of him. <sighs> well, we'll keep our eyes peeled for him on the way back. From the jungle, if I thought there was a chance of finding him alive. Don't be a fool, Bart. You'll have a hard enough time just getting back here. I know. She said she saw an ape man. That's what she said, Betty, but she probably was so frightened she really didn't know what she saw. Well, at least she's all right. You want to take these out and put them in the Jeep? And I'll get a first aid kit in case we need it. Oh, and don't be too long, because the sooner we get back of those fortress walls, the better I'll feel. <laughs> OK. Hey, boss? Boss? Boss, where are you? Over here, Dumpy. Look what I found, Hacker's car. Uh-oh. I wonder what he's got to do with that mess inside. And the broken radio? Chicken of the seats. I don't know what to look for, but I wouldn't put anything past that man.
there's no telling what he might do next. Come on. Lost, boss. Any idea where we are? Well, the house is back that way. Yeah. We just got to keep going through here. Whoa, please stop. We'll be right back where we started, and the Tyrannosaurus will lead us up. You saved my life. I really don't know how to thank you. I'm very grateful. You want me to cook it? Your dinner. I think you ought to know something before I start. I'm not a very good cook. You know, you don't care, huh? Okay. One rabbit, medium rare. Hope that's how you like it. I hope you don't have anything else on your mind. Watch. Now, now, nice caveman. You just sit there and I'll go fix things in the kitchen. Now, let's see. What does a nice caveman do after a hard day's work in the jungle? No, no, don't tell me. Let me think of something tame on my own. Like sitting down. And we'll keep all other thoughts out of our romantic little Neanderthal minds, okay? Let's see. Maybe if I sing you a song, you'll fall asleep, and then I can run away from you. Hmm? Lullaby and good night. This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Stay tuned. This portion of Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeaturesStore.com the official merchandiser of Creature Feature Accessories.
Welcome back to Creature Features. We are watching Dinosaurus from 1960. Not a bad film, right? Oh, it's actually quite entertaining so far. Right, and it's got dinosaurs. Yeah, I've seen so many films that have dinosaur in the name and no dinosaur in the film. Yeah, mostly a bunch of stuff you don't want to see. You right. want to see the monster. You, you do want to see the monster. And have you noticed the sound of the dinosaurs? It's a, it's a very, very exquisite sound. It's right, but it's, it's been used in dozens of films before. I thought it sounded particularly familiar. Right. No, I think somebody went back in time with a tape recorder, recorded dinosaurs, and there was only one sample, so they used it in all these films. I wonder if they had a tape recorder back then. They well, had fire. No, they had a time machine. They came from here and went back. Oh, right. H.G. Wells type no, things. No, that's my theory. I could be wrong. No, that's a good one. It's, it's happened once or twice. All right, so uh, as far as uh, you go, this is our guest, Jerry Meevin. He works for a cheese company. We sampled some cheese. We sure did. Some better than others. And um, But uh, we're done with the cheese. So what do you do for fun when you're not pushing cheese on unsuspecting well, tourists? Well, I find a, a lot of gratification. I, I play the banjo. The banjo? Yes, sir. The four string, the five string? It's a five string. It's a five string, that's the way to go. If you Have you ever, you ever seen Burl Ives? He's the bloke who did the uh, Christmas thing, did he not? Yes, he was in Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Oh, I missed that one. Kind of like his. Oh, all right. All Except right. I don't have the cool goatee like old Burl. Well, you, <laughs> you can certainly grow one. Are you any good? Oh, well, not really. I, I, I play a little bluegrass, but it's not quite blue yet. It's more like crabgrass. <laughs> Well, yeah. so so you play banjo, and or do you have like a band? Oh no, actually, I, I play out in front of a Napa hotel and make a couple extra bucks there and just greet the people. Playing banjo for the tourists. Sure, I do. No, oh, I, 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 how much do you think you make in a weekend doing this? Oh, you'd be surprised. Right? Yeah. Surprise me. Well, it's filled with quarters. That that pot is. So, I got so, one of those machines that counts them for me. Right. right. The other night, I got ten dollars and eighty cents. Ten dollars eighty cents. Yeah. So that that covers the parking, maybe, right? Oh, oh I, I I don't drive there. I just I just park my rump there. <laughs> right, right, right. Banjo. Oh, you know, it's too bad you did not bring the banjo. We could have had like a cheese and banjo type thing going on. Oh, that would be nice. Do yeah. you do, do you play anything? Uh, you know, I used to play guitar long ago. Were you were you any good? Well, and I you know I used to think I was, but I was told many times I was not. Well, that, you can't let that stop you. No, well, no, I, that did not stop me. It was the business that stopped me. I just don't go into the rock and roll business with your banjo. You won't like it. Well, heck no. I get a lot of people telling me I'm no good, and I just keep on playing. Right. Well, at least you're getting paid for it, though. Well, sometimes right. they don't always throw money. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, on that happy note, let's get back to the film. Let's finish up uh, Dinosaurus, and then we're going to find out what you're doing next, right? That sounds great. All right, off we go, Dinosaurus 1960. Don't go away after the credits, because we'll be sitting here, Tinjello will be here, and the three of us will be wondering where you went while the credits rolled. See you soon. seats. See the 
kid anymore. He's on the other side. The way they're spinning around, he could get crushed. Come on, we gotta get him. Not that way, that's quicksand. <laughs> Too. There he is, man. Yeah. Yeah, but look at that monster. We're going in to get that caveman. Boss. It's too late for that now, Jasper. I'm sorry, boss. I quit. Jasper, come back here! <laughs> Gotta get him away from that cave. I'm telling you, Marcy, it'll be perfectly safe. Get in through that opening, climb down on the rope up there, take him prisoner, and bring him out when the coast is clear. I'm scared of the monster and a bomb too, Mr. Hacker. One. I'm tired of being disobeyed, Marcy. I'm ashamed of myself. I, I really am. Two. I'm in business this time. You, you know I do anything for you. You know that, Mr. Hacker. But this... This will be suicide. Three. Okay, okay. I'll go. Mousy, you yellow coward, I'll kill you! Uh, I'll do it myself. Mine shaft's nothing but a bunch of rotted timbers. It can't hold much longer the way he's going at it. And these things don't bother him a bit. Maybe if I could pop one right in his mouth, he'd decide to beat it out of there. Oh, boss, that's a good trick if you can do it. When I tell you, you throw one of those bombs as close to his eyes as you can. That'll attract his attention. But let me get within a couple of feet where I can't miss. Okay. Oh, Mr. Hacker, thank goodness you're here. Don't anybody move. Blasted rope. Now we'll have to wait for the monster to leave before we can get out. Unless we give him some distraction while the others leave. You must be crazy. Is that what you think? Do you know how much money people all over the world will pay to look at that monkey man? Oh, what is this? <laughs> Bravery, eh? Little man, I could puncture holes in you with this play toy of mine. He doesn't know what a gun is. He's just a nice kind. <laughs> Don't worry, boy. I won't hurt him. He's going to be my fortune. And you, you are going to be my way out of here. No, Hacker, no!
while. Yeah, boy, is he mad. Let's get in there. is going to remember he's hungry again. Did Hacker get out? Chance. Head back to the Jeep. I'm going to take another look around here just in case. Be careful. I will. Now hurry. I imagine you are becoming almost as tired of seeing me as I am of making these messages. Please subscribe. except on the side overlooking the ocean. We'll just open up those drums, put a torch to the oil, and we got a motor plane. Good. Is everyone in the fortress? Yeah. Everybody except for the guys in the equipment. And there's a little path over there. They can go up in case they get caught outside when the fire starts. And a good job, Chuck. We got enough oil? That's the problem. The moat had to be bigger than I anticipated. How many minutes of flame can you give me? Five, maybe, if we're lucky. No sign of the boat yet? No. Pedro! You should eat something, Julio. A growing boy I needs... don't want to grow anymore. The mailboat will soon be here. You're probably going to get that airplane from the cereal box. I don't care about any airplane. Well, remember, there's a good bowl of soup if you want it. What are you seeing out there, Dumpy? Nothing, and right now that looks mighty good to me. Are you taking care of the alarm? Hey! Huh? What the? Take it easy. Relax. The monster's not here yet. But you keep your eyes open. You'll be a fine alarm man. Sí, señor. Sorry. 
I hope the rest of our setup is better than that. <laughs> Don't worry about him. If that monster comes to the mile of this place, that bell will be ringing. Not a chance, Dumpy. Why? To help Bart. Look what he's doing.
Senor Bart. Bart, are you all right? Bart, that was terrific. Oh, thank you. Wasn't it great? Oh, my God. Senor Bart, why did the caveman have to die? We owe him. There's a time for everything. The caveman slept all those years. And then one day he awoke like Rip Van Winkle and found the world so changed that he didn't belong in it anymore. How would you like it if you woke in the 21st century? No house, no friends, even the town gone. Just a strange world. I would like it. <laughs> you know, I bet you would at that. I bet one day you will wake in the 21st century. You really mean it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy! <laughs> There you are, my dear. There's your tropical island. Look at all those people up there waving at us. Do you suppose they greet all the ships like this? I shouldn't be at all surprised in a peaceful, quiet island like this. I don't suppose there's anything better to do. And so ends Dinosaurus. You know, I don't know if that dinosaur actually died because it was a question mark. Yeah. What do you think of the film, love? Do you like it? She likes dinosaur films. Oh, even when they sink to the bottom of the ocean and you don't know what happened? Well, no, she just likes the fact that there was a dinosaur there. Oh. No, no she's got many stuffed dinosaurs, you know, plush. Why don't you dinosaur. get her a real lizard? Or an iguana. Oh, she's got no. She's got all kinds of reptile pets. Are they living? Of course they're living. Oh. She's got a boa constrictor that's like what eight feet long now. Remind me to be nice to you. <laughs> and this is, I don't think, part of her menagerie because this one's dead, right? That's a rat. You know, we have these here, rattlesnakes. Oh, seen a lot of those. Right, right. In any case, uh, that is it for dinosaurus. We'll run this again someday, maybe, maybe not, but. Uh, Mr. Mevis, what are you up to next? Well, I, I think this weekend I'm heading down to uh, the Southern California Cheese Jubilee, third annual. And that's uh, some type of uh, party, or what oh, is that? Oh, golly, yes, it's a party. It's right. nothing but cheese. Oh, it's like a convention. Oh, yeah. All a right. lot of people there just like me. Doing cheese. Well, that's Who all, like cheese. That's all they do, Vince. Right. It's cheese. Right, right. So yeah. you discuss different flavors, samples. Are you going to be bringing any of these uh, surprise cheeses? In well, yours? I'm going to bring Sharp Helena, that's for mm, sure. Goodness. That's a big seller. Oh, I bet it is. Oh. So, uh, wow. All right. That's, uh, that's wonderful. Uh, all right. Well, hey, next time you're in town, we'll have to have you up for uh, more cheese sample. Maybe we'll get you to sample some cheese. She's a vegetarian. She doesn't do cheese. You know, maybe if you made a cheese out of, like, pumpkin or something. We're actually that. working on a gelatin tofu cheese. Gelatin tofu cheese. That sounds... That sounds Disgusting. With right. extra added flavorings. Right, all right, all right. Thank you, Jerry. And as far as you guys go, thank you so much for watching our show tonight. Uh, we hope you had fun. We hope you enjoyed the movie. We hope you enjoyed the guests. We may have better of both next week. We don't know, but don't forget, we love you, and we'll see you next time. So, uh, Jerry, you know, this whole thing about making cheese, you know, we've got goats and stuff, and ah. I'm thinking we should maybe be making our own cheese. Is this something you could teach us how to do? Well, Vince, before you before you actually make the cheese, you gotta learn how to cut the cheese. 